Hi everyone and thanks for joining us today for another MarkForge focused video. Today we'll be going over how to create and maintain builds within the MarkForged Iger software. Before we get started it will be important to clarify what the distinctions are between parts and builds within Iger. Like parts, builds can be saved to your library and can also be printed at any time without the need to recreate or reslice them. The main difference here is that builds consist of multiple parts of the same material. The configuration of builds can also be edited, which we'll go over here shortly. In order to start the creation of a build, you will first need to have a part that is fully sliced and uploaded to your Iger library, like this Onyx spindle liner that we'll use as an example. We'll start the process of creating a build with this part by clicking on Print, which will take us to the final print preparation screen. From here, we can select the Add Part option, which will let us choose what additional parts we would like to print in this build. For now, we'll add two additional copies of the spindle liner by selecting the part twice. You can see here that adding multiple parts to our print caused the Save Build option to appear. With several parts on the print bed, we can easily arrange their positions by clicking and dragging them. You can also rotate an individual part by selecting it and using the Theta field. Rotating a part in a build does not impact the orientation of your original part. If desired, you can add parts with different geometries to a single print bed, although those parts will have to be made up of the same material and be at the same layer height. In this example, you can see that we've added an onyx keychain to our build, but the keychain was sliced to be at a different layer height when compared to the spindle liners. Any issues with the build will be displayed in the upper left hand corner of Iger. Should a part need to be removed from your build, you can do so by clicking on the X symbol that is next to that part. Since builds can be made up of multiple parts, you can name a build so that it can be more easily identified at a later time. This is especially useful when going through the print history of your printer. When you have configured your build as needed, you can print the build immediately if you have an available printer by selecting that printer and clicking Print. Note that printing a build without saving it will automatically save that configuration of parts as a build in your library. If your printer is offline, you can also select Export Build, which will create a file that you can place on a USB drive for offline printing. For now, we'll simply click on Save Build, which will add that build to our library. Builds are easily accessible from the main area of your Iger library by clicking on the Builds tab shown here. Any of your previously saved or printed builds can be seen by selecting them. As was the case when we were creating a build, we can rename existing builds or modify them as needed. For this example, we will rename a past build, save the build, and go back to our library to see the changes. Lastly, to delete a build that is no longer needed, all you need to do is mouse over the build, click on the garbage can icon, and then click on the garbage can icon again to confirm the action. Deleting a build will not impact any of the individual parts that made up that build. If we go back to our part library, you can see that the spindle liner that was part of the build we just deleted is still there, so you never have to worry about accidentally deleting parts when cleaning up your builds. Thanks for joining us today. Feel free to check out our website and YouTube channel, and stay tuned for more MarkForge content in the future. Thank you.